What's up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today is moving day. Well, it's the day the movers come. Yeah. So we're beginning our moving journey. To Orlando. This is our final journey. We have lamb chains in a box. We have boxes and boxes. And boxes. And boxes over there. I can't believe this is really happening. Movers just called. They're going to be here in like 20 minutes, I think. So I think now is my chance to run and get Starbucks. And we woke up early. Yeah, and then I'll just let them know where to go. I'm glad we don't have to break down this bed because it looks like it will be a pain. But we have our dressers and all that ready. This is just a pile of junk, but we did a pretty good job. I think we did. We started packing like a month ago, which is like insane for us, I feel like. But I think we're ready to go. I'm feeling good. It definitely doesn't help that I was on a shoot this week. Flew out to LA on Tuesday, came back Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Well, worked all day Thursday, packed at night, and now literally like packing. And then like when we get there on Monday, I have to go back out to LA for 10 days for another shoot. So Laura's gonna have fun unpacking and stuff like that. It's just been a very busy week. Yeah, we're exhausted, but I'm ready to be in Florida permanently. Oh, so you started a new job, right? Yeah, I started a new job this week. I'm still working today, so it's been a crazy week, but now it's time to lock the cats up before the movers get here. That way they're not running around and getting in the way or running out the front door, because I don't want that either. So it's been a few hours and oh my gosh, I can hear the echo in the room. So the movers have taken out most of the stuff. You guys remember there was a whole bunch of boxes there, there was a table there. This is empty. I don't know what they did in here. Oh, they took out the desk that was in here and the mattress and the box spring. So they just have the headboard and all that. We both broke for lunch, so they're gonna go eat and we're almost done. Man, I needed a break. It's exhausting watching people move my stuff out of the apartment. But seriously though, we've been packing for like a month straight and last night we were up like super late making sure everything was ready. I am pretty exhausted. But it does feel a little awkward though that we're just sitting on these couches just watching them. Just I was like laying down at one point just like what you doing over there? And it's mainly because we don't really know what to do. We want to get out of their way. So when I was working at a moving company during the summer. I felt the same way. I feel so bad for the cat. Oh yeah, they've been locked in the room the whole this whole time. I just keep hearing them meow and then occasionally it sounds like someone's trying to open the door, like they're like really going at it. I'm like, but we like, we can't have them out and about and like the front door is open and everything. Fun fact that I don't think I ever showed you, God, the echo is so weird in here now that there's nothing in here. Fun fact that I never showed you guys, in college we had a set building class and they said if we can find scraps, we can build whatever I want, like wherever we want, like outside of class. So your boy, being a Harry Potter fan, built this long 10 foot regulation, two feet wide beer pong table. What's on the other side you ask? It is, that's where the cups go, the 10 cup triangle, a whole Deathly, oh not Deathly, Hall, Dark Mark Slytherin beer pong table. I built this in school. It came with me from Orlando, was on our porch for the longest time, and we're taking it back because Laura let me keep it. He has had that on our balcony since the day we moved in. I had nowhere else to put it. Almost three years now, so it's just been sitting out there. But now, and you think we're gonna use it? Yeah, we're gonna rack them up. Up, real quick when we get down. Some of our Orlando friends over and play some beer pong. Yeah, I mean, Hogwarts Legacy is really popular right now. So if anyone wants to challenge me at 10 cup beer pong, let me know. It also has a good bounce. I made sure of that. Later. <laughs> Well, friends, the movers just left. The apartment is basically empty in here. They went to go pick up Aries from Doggy Daycare. So I want to get Aries' reaction when he comes to the apartment. It's just like completely empty. Hi, Aries. Hey, buddy. Look at this. Look around, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Where are you going? You won't stop running around. Aries, where'd everything go? It's like, okay, cool, my bed's still here. I think this is it. This is, you can hear the echo, everything is gone. We have a couple little boxes, but this is the end of an era. Era? Era. <laughs> We're no longer Atlanta natives. We're about to be Florida. Oranges. We're gonna be a Florida man and a Florida woman. It's honestly crazy. We lived here almost three years. This is our first apartment together, and this is where travel spree blossomed. Right here. Literally, right here is where we were discussing the name for travel spree. And here's where Fane edited. And this is where I booked Adventure of the Seas. Oh 
my god. Uh, right over there, I had to talk to Laura about actually booking it and convincing her to book it. Stop, that actually really makes me emotional. <laughs> Anything about adventure that sees Laura tears up. But yeah, end of an era. Stop saying end of an era. End of an era. I cannot believe we're leaving Atlanta. On to our next adventure. The movers took mostly everything and everything that we had, so we don't have anywhere to sleep, so we had to book a hotel, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow morning and load up our cars and head down to Florida. You wanna hear something crazy? Bane actually suggested that, why do you get so close to my face? Everyone talks about how pretty you are, so I wanna be like. Bane actually suggested that we sleep on the floor. Yeah, because it'd be cheaper, and not, you don't have to spend money. But I'm not driving all day tomorrow after I sleep on the floor. That's true. Later that night. It feels so good to finally just like oh, take a break and lay down. Even though we didn't do most of the moving, the cleanup after the move was, was rough. I think that was like the roughest part. It's just like bringing every, all the loose items that you don't realize you have, bringing all those down to the car. But I think we did a really good job today. I think we were like super organized like beforehand. And I think it is a lot less worse than it could have been. And we threw away a lot of stuff. We did. And we donated a bunch of stuff. All right, let's get some sleep because we have an early early morning time to be up to get up 5 a.m <laughs> yeah i cannot wait to take a nice long shower though i'm so looking forward to that the next morning it's finally the day we're finally getting down to orlando to make this drive i know it's early but i'm so ready to just get down there and start unpacking everything early morning empty gas station this gas station is special to us because we've been waiting months for it to open. And it literally opened yesterday, yep. just in time for us to leave. I'm not that sad because in Florida, we're gonna have Wawa. And another Bucky's. All right, let's ready to get some food and then also make this seven hour drive. And leave Georgia. Yeah, Laura doesn't think this is a big deal, but I think it's a big deal. I've never touched brand new handles on a gas station pump. Like it's always like, they're like ripped up and broken and stuff like that. But this one feels brand new. I don't know, it's just something. That it didn't feel any different to me. Last time at QT, brand new. This is so weird not seeing anybody here. This is wonderful. I was honestly hoping this would open up like a few weeks ago for us to be able to like enjoy it a little bit, but maybe it'll be like a special treat next time you visit. The fact that they have all this Celsius, that's nuts. They have all the flavors. Honestly, sparkling watermelon is probably my favorite. All right, I got Aries. You have your cats? Buried in there. And I will see you at our next stop in Val Sleazy. Val Sleazy. Uh. Ooh, gross. You won't, you won't ever make it in Val Dosta. Okay. <laughs> All right, drive safe. All Let right, me know if anything you. happens. Love you too. What's up guys, Editor Fane here. With all the excitement, I noticed that we forgot to say, if you guys are new here and enjoying the content or you wanna see some more content, make sure you hit that like button down below and also subscribe, come check it out, it's free. And also, you can always unsubscribe, so why why not just try it out? This little, little trial period, see if you like it or not. No hard feelings. But if you really wanna get into it, go ahead and hit that little join button down there next to the like button and see what it's all about. But on all serious guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now back to the video. <laughs> Three hours later. Welcome to my stomping grounds. This is where I grew up in college. I wanna say for those of you who don't know and are like, what the hell is he talking about right now? He went to college for a few years in Valdosta and tore the place up. I don't really say tore the place up, but this is how I learned how to be the person I am today. He was a real ladies man. Shut up. <laughs> Fun fact, we actually might have gone to two of the newest QTs in Georgia, coincidentally. It's just easier to come over here yeah. and QT always slaps. All right, three more hours and then we are home, new home in Orlando. Three hours later. We have made it to Florida, to our Finally. new apartment. It's nice and wet is sunny. It's not raining just yet. We have two or three more hours before the rain it comes, like the afternoon rain. If you're from Florida, you know what I mean. But yeah, it's nice open. Laura is the one that found this apartment, so she did a really good job. I love this apartment. And just like, I have to show this view off really quick. Look at that view. It usually has some ducks in the water too. So pretty. All right, are we gonna do a little tour? Okay, so this is our kitchen. It's pretty, pretty full right now. Pretty small, regular fridge. I know it's not a full fridge like Laura wanted. You can come over here. You have a little patio area. You can come over here. Living room. Over here is like a little desk area that Laura's gonna have. I have my monitor there already. Laundry room. Huge, freaking ginormous. Yeah, nice size guest room. Guest room. This is gonna be Fane's office. With like a little nice walk-in closet. Lovely. Bathroom. 
And then this is our master bedroom. Aries is barking right now, so I guess kind of crazy. Yeah, we can't show you the closet because the dog's in there with my mom, and cats are in our bathroom. Yeah, so it's really nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. We'll show you guys more when we actually make it furnished and all that. But the movers are finally here, so we get to sleep in our normal beds tonight. We don't have a couch yet, but that will be coming next week. And I'm just ready to get settled. And I finally got the internet to work, so it's kind of a pain. The next day. What you doing, Payne? Fortunately, still packing all my stuff because I'm trying to clear out some space before I leave because unfortunately I have to go to LA for two weeks. Yeah, even though we just moved in, Payne is packing. Just moved in. Not unpacking, he's packing. But yeah, did you show the apartment? Not you yet. Have, you have all the stuff. Should we do a new tour? Yeah, let's go. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> well, hello there. Welcome to <gasps> my new apartment. Our new apartment. Can you show me around? <laughs> yes. So we're gonna start off in the living room. TV, a little entertainment center, fridge for cold drinks. And this is our new couch. This is our new couch. Very Chandler Joey vibes. Yeah. <laughs> for us watching the TV. These chairs are the best, they're zero gravity chairs. I've been wanting one for like the last 10 years and we finally got them. But our new couch is coming. Washer dryer. We're, unfortunately, we have to sell them because our apartment doesn't have a storage unit. And then at the same time, like they had their own washer and dryer. So I have to sell these. And I'm not happy about it because these are nice washers and dryers they are. compared to what them. they have in there. Anyway, so we do a 180. This is our little dining room area. Still have trash boxes, the go table. to the table. There's a lamp that we're trying to figure out how to put back together. This is our kitchen. Have a whole bunch of stuff on the, the countertop. I feel like we're doing pretty well in here though. Yeah. Like this space over here looks pretty decent, I would say. And then here's the bathroom, second guest bathroom. Laura let me pick my own shower curtain. Yes, you did a good job. It looks nice with the white carpet on the floor. This is the guest bedroom bed, obviously. Here's my 35 inch computer monitor curved. This is where all the award winning travel spree videos will be made. This is Laura's desk area. Yes, I actually really like it. It's like super cozy. I put my little lamp up there. It's honestly the perfect amount of space for me. And then here's the sad washer and dryer that we have to use. Yeah, not state of the art, but it'll clean our clothes. He's really broken up about his that's washer one of like dryer. My, that was my first big appliance I bought since I was like a grown up, since I had my job. So it's just like, I have to get rid of it. And then you come in here and we have our bathroom, pretty much the same, just different side of the apartment. TV, sound bar, dresser, king size bed. It's this a lot of space. This room is huge and we were able to fit like a lot in here, honestly. And then as Laura showed you earlier, I was working in the closet. This is coming along, not too shabby. I feel like we've done a really, really good job for just having, our, having had our stuff for like 24 hours now. It doesn't look like, it looks like we've been here like a few days, not just like one day. So your mom really helped out with that. Yes, my mom has been here. She's been helping us unload everything. Could not have gotten this far without her. To six more days later. Today is a fantastic day. Not only because Fane is coming home today and I finally get to go pick him up from the airport, but we got our new couch. So we don't have to use our lawn chairs anymore in the living room. Let me show you guys. All right, here she is. It fits really nicely in the space, I think. Is this from Crate and Barrel? It's their lounge couch, but it has a nice long chase on the end, which Aries is taking advantage of. What do you think, my dude? I love how it's super deep on the cushion. So, you know, Fink can lay here, I can lay here, and there's plenty of space. I think it's gonna go really nicely. Don't really know what to do with our lamp over here. Normally that goes next to the couch, but this is pretty much the only place to put our side table. And the problem with that is I would have to stretch the cord from the lamp all the way over here. Let us know if you guys have any suggestions. Can't wait to put up lots of pictures here and kind of get this space decorated. All right, only about 30 more minutes until I get to leave to go pick up Fane. And I think I'll bring you guys with me so you can see him. One thing I really like about the Orlando airport is that right before you drive into the airport, they have a little 7-Eleven right here. I came and parked and I got Fane's, one of Fane's favorite drinks, the Gatorade Zero Glacier Cherry. I just wanna surprise him. I just wanna spoil him. I'm so happy he's home. I can't wait to grab him. So I'm waiting for him to get his luggage and then I will pop right over there. Ugh, I feel like I'm back in Atlanta. 
Welcome home! Uh, thank you. Thank you for picking me up from the airport. I'm glad your other girlfriend decided to give you back to me in 10 freaking days. I know, it was really nice and calm and peaceful. Oh, uh, whatever. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't crazy like you with your Irish accents and stuff. Top of the morning to you. I am glad to be home that I can finally like settle in and stuff. And I'm ready to like kind of complete this move. <laughs> I feel like we still have to go pick up some stuff from the store, but. I don't even feel like I moved here with you. I feel like I just moved by myself. Hey, I'm just visiting for the weekend. Yeah. I do have to say, the Orlando airport is nowhere near as good as the Atlanta airport, but that's to be expected because we were spoiled. Finally, get to see what Fane thinks of the new couch. It is pretty big. We need to, I feel like we need to scoot it up a little bit. Let's see. I'm nervous. Do you want the honest answer? Now assume your normal position on the couch. It's not bad. It needs to be broken in, but it's yeah. definitely not comfortable like you were saying it was. It's stiff, it's firm. Well, every couch kind of comes like that. Try the chase. Not impressed? No, honestly, not really. I would have been fine with a recliner. Oh. I do like the size of it though. Like I can actually, you're right, I can lay down. <sighs> you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you for holding it down while I was gone. That's what I thought. Thought. But no, like it's not it's not a bad couch. I wouldn't let's, we just really need to push this up so it's closer to the TV and everything. Let me show you what I love about it. So you can take off like these are come off really easily. And then you put like a pillow from the bed right here and you just like lay down and the TV's like perfect angle, you know? But yeah, and then you put this under your knees and it's just like perfect like low back support. So I think it's nice. So we got most of the house furniture. We got the couch. I installed the nest. I also put in a washer and dryer, actually, because those ones seem better. I think there's like one more thing to do to make it a complete move to Florida. You What's ready? That? Just follow me. Disney World? Oh, no. That's too expensive. Five minutes later. All right, we're here. We're at Publix. You excited? Probably like, why we're here. Here we go. You got to get a sun pass if you live in Orlando. Aren't you excited? Yes, actually, because even though I have it, like, attached to my license plate, yeah. it freaks me out every time I drive through it, and it's like, it flashes red instead of, like, go sun pass. So, yes. Thank you. There you Actually, go. This is a nice surprise. Now what else are you getting me here? Um, you want a pub sub? Uh, no, but I'll take a selfie. Well, guys, that is it for our move from Atlanta to Florida. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to see what we get up to with like cruises, maybe theme parks, and other types of travel. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. You can hit that notification bell to get notified every time we post. And if you really, really like us, you can hit that join button down below to join our memberships and get a few extra bells and whistles. But as always, guys, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys later. I guess we'll see you guys next week on Margarita so let's see, baby. Fame. We're Florida residents. Florida man, baby. You're a Florida man. <laughs> Bye, You're going to see Fame's name in the news soon. Florida man eats alligator. Alligator tastes delicious. <laughs> Bye, guys. You know when your body feels so